After almost a year and a half of being closed, Disneyland has reopened, and with it is a brand new, renovated, revamped Snow White attraction. And at the end of the ride, Prince Charming leans over, kisses Snow White, and saves her from the sleeping death spell of the poison apple. Guess what, folks? A sleeping girl, she cannot consent to a kiss. And so Prince Charming, that's assault, brother. And two writers from the San Francisco Gate want this ride canceled. All right, so let me give you guys a refresher because I was confused. I thought it was Sleeping Beauty that was taking a murder nap and needed a kiss to save her. Turns out she did, but she pricked her finger, whereas Snow White took a bite of the apple. So I think Disney was going back to the well on this idea of dumb girls falling for stupid tricks and it's eternal sheets and you need a guy to come save you. So Prince Charming shows up, lays a kiss on her. Everyone's alive and healthy and in love. And no, 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 the San Francisco Gate does not want the children seeing that in this attraction. What do they want, the 2021 version? At the very end of the ride, Prince Charming shows up and he's like, ooh, uh, she's in that eternal death sleep and I could save her with the kiss, but I can't really get consent. Like, hey, hey, Snow, uh, can I kiss you? No? Shit. All right, well, I'm, uh, I'm not about to catch a case. I'll see you later and just leave a fucking dead body on the floor. Is that how you want the ride to end? 2021 version of Snow White where Prince Charming just walks out being like, well, I couldn't get consent, so I left that bitch on the floor dead. Now, the two girls who wrote this article said that, quote, it cannot possibly be true love if she's asleep. What? Listen, you wake me up with some action like that, I promise you I'm in love, okay? And also, by the way, it was a true love's kiss. It wasn't a true love's blowjob. It wasn't like Prince Charming had to pull a Casper from the movie Kids, okay? He just needed to barely go to first base to save her goddamn life. She had been sleeping in a glass coffin in the woods for a year. Dude just wanted to say goodbye and give her a little kiss. Give me a fucking break. What, we're going to try to paint Prince Charming as like he's, like he's on sleepassault.com? Come on. I mean, there's a lot more problematic Disney movies out there. You got Bambi's head being blown off by the hunter. You've got, you know, human trafficking with child sex slaves in Pinocchio while he gets drunk with hookers on Pleasure Island. And if you want to talk about rapey Disney movies, let's start with Beauty and the Beast, okay? Where we literally kidnap this girl and put her away in a, in a, in a tower until she has Stockholm Syndrome and falls in love with a literal monster, okay? You want to have a beef with Disney about, you know, non-consensual stuff? Let's start with Beauty and the Beast. Let's leave Prince Charming kissing his girl who's dying from eternal death sleep. Let's let him kiss her and save her life, okay?